I will sing a new song for my Jesus love. It's a very meaningful song. Good morning. Welcome to the Global Church Ministries. I will sing a new song for my Jesus love. I will sing a new song for my Jesus love. He's my Savior. He's my hope. Prince of peace. King of kings. I will sing a new song. My Jesus love, I will sing a new song for my Jesus love. He's my Savior, He's my hope, Prince of Peace, King of Kings. In my sorrows and pain, Jesus love is. Sorrows and pain, Jesus' love is good. I'm forgiven by your blood. I will praise you, oh my Lord. I will sing a new song for my Jesus' love. I will sing a new song. My Jesus love, He's my Savior, He's my hope, Prince of peace, in your peace. I will praise you, Lord, Lord, for the love on the cross. I will praise you, Lord, Lord for the love on the cross. I am waiting for my Jesus coming on cross. I will sing a new song for my Jesus' love. I will sing a new song for my Jesus' love. He's my Savior. Savior Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Elizabeth, please come and read the text for us. Appreciate it. One second. Yes. Good morning. Welcome to Global Church Ministries. Let me read one word for you. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. <laughs> Because you have kept my command to preserve, I also will you will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the blessed words. Um, it, that is so powerful. That is very important this words for all of us, especially in this COVID-19 times. I'm just reading from another version, which is NLT. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to Test those who belong to this world. Did you hear what it is that the word is talking about? God will send a testing or trial time to the whole world. That's what the Bible says. That's what Elizabeth read for us. 
God will allow the whole world to be tested. At that time, I will keep you safe and sound. Who is that you? Who is that you? That is in the beginning of the text. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere. That is a reason. That is a message giving to the uh, one of the churches in the Asia Minor in the first century. It says it's the Philadelphian church. The church in the Philadelphia. So even the the word of God has power and a relevancy even to the present time. This scripture is talking to the today's Christians, today's people also, for you also. Brothers and sisters, if you are listening us this morning or even in whatever your time, this is the message to you. This is a very important message to you and your friends and your family, the whole household. What is it? It is a Bible promise. It is a God promise that God will protect you and me. Why? That God says, Bible says, there is a reason. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere. Means even if it is a tough time or trial time to the whole world, I will protect you because you obeyed my command. That's what the Bible says. That's what she read it for us. So the question is this one. If Jesus is our personal savior, if he if we have confessed our sins to Jesus Christ, number two, so that we will get the divine joy and peace, then our life will be in the perseverance and in the persistence of faith. So we will be protected. God's people will be protected from the great time of testing. That's what the Bible says. Elizabeth, please read the two verses above, the verse 8 from chapter 3 of the book of Revelation, please. Okay. Revelation 3 8. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have to deny my name. Have not denied my name. Yes. That's so beautiful words. Very powerful words. Everybody should read that one. There is a reason is mentioned in the previous verse. Verse 8. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Because there is a reason. I know all the things you do. Bible says God knows. Everything about you and me. That's great. Right, Elizabeth? Right. Yeah. God knows everything about us. That's what it says. I know all the things you do. That's what the Bible says. Whatever we're doing. Bible says, I know what you're doing. Oh, great. Oh, that's fabulous. Praise God. And he says, and I have opened a door for you that no one can stop. Great. Next one. You have a little strength. Okay. Nobody is perfect. You have a little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny it. You know what happened? Because of your faith, because of small faith that you are persisted in, with Jesus, many ungodly people will come into the faith. That's what the, the context says. Many fake Jewish people, 
that they claim they are Jewish, they are, they, they are fake, they will come back to you to know Jesus. In other words, if I paraphrase that verse, verse 8, into our life, because of you and me standing for Jesus in this tough time, many ungodly people will come to Jesus through you and me. Amen. That is something great. There are a couple of blessings. God will protect us in this tough time. That's next thing, many ungodly people, people who do not believe in Jesus, will come to you to know more about our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, time is exceeding. We want to stop here. As you know, 10 minutes plus or minus a little bit. That's all. So our God is coming. Keep this promise with you. Uh, the song and the Bible verse. And this clip will be a blessing to you. Remember, if you are blessed and encouraged with this 10 minute small clip, please share to your WhatsApp group or Facebook, whatever, Twitter, whatever. So that way, see, Bible says, when you preserve and persevere the faith, even if that is small, because of you kept your faith, I also will protect you in the time of testing comes to the whole world. That's one thing. Number two, many will come and see Jesus through your small faith. Amen. God.